If you're interested in identifying woody plants, trees, shrubs, there's a lot of characteristics that you can look at other than just the leaves. So before we break dormancy, which we are, our buds are starting to open, we're gonna take a look at some of those characteristics on this Canada red cherry and show you how you can identify plants by looking at buds, lenticels, the bark, even disease on a tree can sometimes be something that you look for that a certain tree has. One of the first things I notice when I'm walking up to this Canada red cherry, if you take a look at that black scarring in there, that's black knot. It's actually a fungus that's very common on the choke cherry, mayday tree, and a couple other prunus genus varieties. All trees have buds, which are very characteristic. A great thing to look at when you're trying to identify a tree. These buds are just starting to open, but they've got a laminated bud. And once these start partially opening, it becomes much more difficult to identify the tree with a bud that's partially open. When they're fully dormant, that's the time when you can really nail it down with this laminated bud. Next thing we look at, the lenticels. If you look at those white protrusions on the bark, lenticels are part of the gas exchange process on a tree, but choke cherry has a white lenticel, very, very prominent. And the bark, or the trunk of the tree. Choke cherries have a pretty smooth bark, but in all trees, as they age and go from a small tree to a large tree, that can change. You can have something very smooth. As it ages, it starts to get that ripped or furrowed outer bark. So it can change as a tree ages. So it's kind of like a detective. You're adding up all kinds of different visuals throughout the whole tree to come up with your identification. We'll move on to Prairie Horizon Alder. Look at that beautiful shape. It's got a really nice form. Older alders, can get a little bit more of a wide, gnarly type shape. But let's zoom in a little bit closer and take a look at some of the identifying characteristics. Alders also have a very, very prominent lenticel on their twigs. The difference here between choke cherry and the alder, on the younger growth, we've got this distinct olive or copper growth. Just a perfectly round, almost elliptical, shiny little bud. Looking at the trunk, we've got a horizontal lenticel and that copper color that we took a look at in the twigs continues on down through the trunk. Alders have a little cone-like seed or strobel. That's a dead giveaway that it's an alder. Very, very unique to the alders. The other thing to pay attention to is what's going on on the ground? What did the tree leave behind? Here we've got a catkin. This is another little signal for the alder. The alder is a member of the Betulaceae family, the birch family. So this is just a symptom from the spring flower, a catkin. Right behind us here, we've got an Ohio buckeye, oftentimes referred to now as just buckeye. It's Aeschylus glabra, but a very nice smaller version tree, like the other trees we talked about. The buckeye has a very, very characteristic bud. It's large compared to the overall twig structure, pointed, you know, almost sharp to the touch. You've got a little bit of a lamination happening. It's also got a waxy bloom. And a waxy bloom is kind of just like a, not a powder, but it's a shiny white substance that you can actually kind of rub off. And that goes into the bud and the twig itself. And evidence on the ground, we've got some buckeye seeds here. When they fall off the tree, they've got a really, really big husk on them, kind of spiny. But once that husk comes off, you've left it this shiny, irregular looking seed. And the bark, it's got kind of a spongy look to it, almost soft to the touch. Kind of reminds me of what you see sprayed on a wall, you know, the eggshell texture, very similar to that. So there we go. Even without leaves on a tree, we've taken a look at some very simple things you can look at to help you identify your trees. We've got the Canada red cherry, Prairie Horizon Alder and Ohio Buckeye, three great trees for the Northern Plains, very hardy. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you again next time.